I am healed. I can start running now. My tear is healed. I'm back. Back in the running groove. <laughs> so bad. And not quite, not quite. Hi everyone, Laura here. Um, and uh, oh my gosh, no way. Already. Wow, I am the biggest ball baby. Okay, I'm gonna try again. I have John here with me. Um, so stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm just really happy today. So this is the video that I have been looking forward to making for a long time, and I'm just gonna power through it. I'll, I'll, I'll stop, trust me. Um, and now that I'm finally able to, it's like, I don't know where to start. Ah, oh, now I got a headache. Do you ever get crying headaches? Okay, so it's now about two hours later. Clearly, I needed to collect myself there. So I did laundry, I watered plants, and I balanced a business checkbook. So calmer now. So John and I are ready to give it another go here. But yeah, I, I had a great doctor's appointment yesterday. It was just a really great appointment. It was with a doctor who I actually tried to see last January when I was getting a second opinion uh, because he's like one of the top foot surgeons in Maryland. Unfortunately, back then, I was told that he was only seeing patients ready for surgery, so I could not make an appointment. It turns out that this was not true, you know, which is a little irksome, but you know what? Just... I'm waving it away, uh, especially since he said that I am on the right track and my doctor, my second doctor has been doing uh, a good job so far. We're going to get to that in a second, but, uh, so anyway, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put John down for a second before I spill it. Um, great appointment. Uh, I'm on track for recovery. I have no more signs of a partial plantar plate tear. My bone edema is gone. No signs, fracture, anything. So, so it is looking good. He also said that I was very, very smart to turn down that cortisone shot last year because he was explaining how he used to actually do that for partial plantar plate tears and how for like three months you feel great. And then all of a sudden your toes start to splay and you're shot and you need surgery because your ligament was ruptured. So that was a good move on my behalf. We also talked a lot more about where to go to from this point forward, uh, but first I'm going to quickly kind of catch you up on things that has happened since my last video injury update that, that I'm gonna link below. Oh, just just quick thing for our new subscribers. First of all, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it, but I have been dealing with a partial plantar plate tear in my second metatarsal. I got it back in September 2016 after running the Disneyland Half Marathon. It's been a very long, frustrating pro process because it is a injury that takes a very, very long time to heal uh, because it is a tough ligament and you have less uh, blood circulation there. A lot of cases end up needing surgery. Thankfully, mine did heal with conservative measures. But like I said, you can, if you would like to hear about the full scoop, you can go to the, the video below. But where I left off last time is I did get new custom orthotics that I hated. I hated them. And you know, I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to pop these bad boys in and then all of a sudden, hallelujah, I could run. So I knew it was gonna take, um, a long break in, but I just, I could not get beyond that stage. It was giving me too much pain, not only in my injured spot, but also in my other uh, toe joints. So I, I put them aside and I was like, nope, nope, I am not wearing them anymore until I find out what is going on. Because I didn't know if that pain was coming from me still being injured or was I having pain because I have a lot of stiffness in my ligaments and my foot because I haven't been using it and I need some physical therapy. So I called up uh, my doctor's office and I requested another MRI. It was my second, my first one was in November. So I had the MRI, uh, I think it was like three weeks ago. I then had to wait uh, for my doctor to call then. And when he called up, I could kind of tell that, you know, something just sounded weird, like he was, you know, not very invested and, and kind of 
quick and it turns out that he's actually leaving his practice. Anyway, he did say that uh, the swelling was gone and there was no more partial plantar plate tear. But then he said something really odd. He said, and I'm not convinced that there was any tear to begin with. And I, I was just like, what? It, it totally floored me. And, and there was like a thousand things I could have asked. Like, well, what have you been treating me for then? But I was totally stunned. He did refer me to the doctor I've been wanting to see from the start. So that is what's been happening up until the point where I saw the doctor. So how have I been feeling throughout this whole process? I mean, I really just don't want to get into a big wine fest. I'm kind of tired of that and done with that. And uh, But yeah, throughout this whole process, you know, I used to have some bad depression issues. So I kind of revisited a lot of those old feelings because running is, is my identity. You know, it's it's who I am and, and what I love to do. It's my social circle, you know, all of my friends, you know, except my husband, he's my best friend. All of my friends are, are, are runners. So it has led to some depression. Also, I've gained weight throughout this process, about eight pounds uh, since last September, which, you know, I've had a lot of people tell me that, you know, eight pounds is really no big deal. Um, but I have had, um, sorry, second. Um, I have had a uh, body issue problem since fifth grade and I've been bulimic for most of my life. So anytime you have that type of weight gain, it's a trigger. I am recovered now. I'm so much better. I have been for quite some time now. But yeah, you know, that, that voice that lives in the back of your head that's always criticizing you and, and telling you you're too fat, but that voice is still there. The only difference is now I know that it's a liar. But, you know, lately when, when I get on the scale, that voice is like, mm, girl, you see that number? I told you you were fat. You know, maybe now you would listen to me. Thankfully, it hasn't been an issue because, you know, I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm 48 years old and I, I'm tired of dancing with that demon. I just, I'm tired of that. You know, I, I'm just so over it, so... While I haven't been doing anything damaging to myself in response, um, it has really made me miss running even more because running was one of the things that really saved me back then. Gosh, I'm a ball baby, right? Running is a thing that... Sorry. Here I thought I was done. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, trying again. Running was uh, one of the things that really helped me to finally recover and, and heal because before I viewed food as enemy. Food was something that made you fat. And if you ate too much food, you threw up the food. But when you are running and training for big races, food becomes fuel and you need that fuel. Your body needs that fuel and you gain such a healthy appreciation for nutrition. And that's why I'm so astounded. If I don't eat enough when I'm training hard, I gain weight. I have to eat to keep from gaining weight. It's just a concept that blows my mind. And, you know, I, I'm going to hit this heavy and hard in an upcoming video. It's hard for me to talk about it clearly. So I'm kind of dipping my toes in the topic now to kind of get me ready. But anyway, so that, and also I, I recently took a good look at the videos I've been putting up and I'm not doing the kind of videos that I've always wanted to do. I'm not talking about what I really want to talk about. And that's my bad. I can't use being injured as an excuse. Um, yeah, being a, a running vlogger and not being able to run is difficult, but you know what? I, I, I could have done better. I, I really could have. And, um, you know, I apologize for that. Um, so getting that news yesterday, this is why I'm having such a hard time with this video. So sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. I mean it. Okay. I mean it that this time. That's it. I'm done. But I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Can you tell? Because I miss running. I, I love everything about running. I love the community. I love talking about running. I, I love the concept of being your own transportation. You know, I love driving. 10 miles somewhere and then realizing that, oh my gosh, if I wanted to, I could run that. I'm very happy. I'm very relieved. I'm very grateful. Um, 
But now what? Clearly, I'm not ready to, you know, put on my shoes and go out prancing outside. I need to take a lot of steps to get back to normal. And my doctor predicted it's going to take about three months until I'm, I'm back to normal. So there are three things that need to happen simultaneously first. The first step is for me to get my foot back to normal and less reliant on all the support that I've had to use while I was recovering and to get back to a normal stride. Uh, for example, since last October, I have been using a carbon graphite insert. It's very thin, but very stiff, hard as a rock. And the concept behind that was to keep my foot as flat as possible. And when I walk to keep from bending at the ball of my foot, that allowed that uh, ligament to heal. I had, also, I had also been taping my second toe down to alleviate the pressure. I've already stopped doing that about a month ago. So that is already done. But the doctor did say to get rid of that insert. It has to be done in stages though, so I don't twerk anything. I also need to give the orthotics another try and get those customized to where I can walk without pain. Because now that I'm structurally fine, that is the next step, is to figure out how I can move and run without pain. Another crucial step, number two, is I need to get my body aligned. For the longest time, I've been walking with a limp and very short strided on my left foot in order to keep, like I said, the pressure off that joint. And I've also been rolling to the outside. And unfortunately though, this has caused my calves to really tighten up and my Achilles as well. And I'm gonna to flip to my notes here. That actually could be the cause of my pain right now is my tight calf muscles because uh, foot pain, heel pain, shin splints, hip and back pain, can originate from calf tightness. So uh, I need to get back into stretching. I asked my doctor about physical therapy and he really didn't think that was necessary. But because I have such low confidence with um, my recovery and I'm so afraid of hurting myself again, I am gonna go through a physical therapist in his office because, because I, I just, I don't have time to make mistakes. And I really wanna hit this hard and I've already talked to my husband's physical therapist in there and she's working out a plan for me. I'm more on that later. But yeah, I need to do more yoga and more stretching and just to get my body back in alignment because I feel it, you know, I just feel like I'm hunched all the time. I just, and even standing, I have been standing like with all of my weight on my right leg for so long to protect my injured foot that I just feel all out of whack. So that is a big step. Uh, number three uh, for the first stage is also conditioning. I need to start, you know, doing more conditioning. I have been doing spin classes with where I hold onto the handlebars and I put all the weight, you know, on my elbows to preserve my foot. But I need to do conditioning and start taking daily walks, short ones at first, just so I can build up some more endurance. And then when I get these three components done and all lined up, at that point, then I am going to hire a running coach and get a stride and strike analysis. So I'm kind of looking forward to doing that because I, I'm telling you, I'm going to be smart. I am going to be filming a preventing injury video very shortly and a coping with injury. Um, but for now, let's talk about moving forward. But yeah, I do want to get my stride analyzed before I start running just to really make sure I'm setting myself up for success so I can do Dopey. I do know that it's very likely that I will have to be a different kind of runner. So whether that means I switch to an interval type system before I've always been a runner who has ran straight through. You know, for me, once the train has left the station and is rolling down the tracks, it took too much energy to slow it down and start it back up again. But I might have to do intervals and just kind of, you know, have a different type of attitude with it for now. And that means I, I cleared out my PRs. I am starting over as a brand new runner. I don't mean that in a defeatist way, that I don't believe that I'll ever get back to where I was or even better. It's not that. It's just that I'm allowing myself grace. I'm allowing myself patience and time to work back up to, uh, possibly a new style of running. Um, I'm just leaving myself open with that. I don't want it to be, you know, the fact that I have a one hour, 57 minute PR for a half marathon over my head and that be the standard that I need to get to because maybe, maybe I can't, I, I don't know. And honestly, 
I know before a big goal of mine was to qualify for the Boston Marathon by the time I turned 50. You know, it's not going to happen and I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm good. So, so what else? I talked about, you know, the channel and how I haven't been doing the kind of content that I've been wanting to do, you know, for some time. So I am going to be rebooting the channel here and just kind of starting fresh. You know, I'm going back to some basics, you know, talking about beginning running since I'm starting over too. And I'm going to get into more facts, fun, friends, and fitness updates. The facts are going to be informative um, vlogs that I have to do once a week. Fun. I, I need to have more fun on this channel. Shorter more, you know, relaxed type of vlogs. Friends, that would be our jamming on the Run episodes. I am going to put up less because sometimes I think the content is better on the podcast and it's enjoyed more in podcast form. In fitness updates, which actually means train updates, but you know, train doesn't have an F. <laughs> so starting from now on, I am going to start doing update series as I'm going through my recovery and getting back into running and then getting into the dopey training. So, so that's where I'm at now. I don't know. I'm very, one more for the road. Um, I'm very happy. I'm very relieved. I'm very thankful. I, I honestly, I feel like a new woman even though I haven't been able to run yet and it's going to take a lot of work. I just, I just feel very renewed and good. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I do want to make, throw up a quick mention that we do now have a Facebook group. It's very casual, not a lot of promotion there. It's just a place for all of us to interact. So definitely check that out and join us. We'd love to have you there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of don't know what else to say other than thank you so much for watching. I um, appreciate your support, and as always, take care and have a joyful day. I know I am. <laughs>